Yep, all right. Um, <clears throat> what's up? It's been a while. Uh, Fres logging on uh, the 28th of May. I really don't know how many videos I've made this month, but I figure, why not today? Um, this video is straight to the point. We're talking, I guess, company politics, store politics. Um, for probably the past, we're nearing a year here. Um, I've had this certain person I have to deal with. And this person uh, came into the store as the new person, like the new replacement of the, the big wig. Um, not spoiling who this is or anything, but... So, the new big wig is in charge of everything, making sure everything's up and good and everything. Um, a person who manages other people, I guess you'd say. And so, when this person came to the store, they were like, Alright, we're going to change this. This is the way it's going to be done. It's very adamant, very concrete, very... Uh, very powerful, I guess you could say. Um, needless to say, that all became just a, uh, a like his figurehead. That's how he comes off. Everyone is this very stoic, very serious person. Um, so, I mean, initially, of course, you're going to be on that guy's side. He's he's not treating you badly. He's telling you like, oh yeah. So, like what? What's going on with you guys? So you tell them all your problems. Okay, well, I'm going to try my best to make sure all these get fixed. So you're like, yeah, 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 we're on your side, man. Then the things start piling up that aren't getting fixed. So you're like, well, hmm. That's kind of weird. Uh, and then months later, you start to see actual nice people who are above you and still... They get results. They get... You know, they're helpful, they're friendly... So you get like this realization that like there are actual nice people above you but then you have like people who are just it's almost to the point of imaginary like at the the uh the expectations they uphold cuz it's like we're doing our best for as many people as we have but it's still never perfect like I've never seen even with our best crew I've never seen a perfect um a perfect night really so for what we have I think we're good at where we're at but I've never seen a perfect I'm not okay well first off he's never give us a given us a compliment like oh good job guys do good tonight he's never gave us any tips or any advice the only things he ever does say are is like very very um basic guidelines like okay well let me tell you to do this thing that you have to do every night. It's like, why would you tell us that? We know that already. Um, so, you know, you tell us that. Or, I want to see the store done. Okay, well, let, we usually don't do the store, get the store done, but, you know, let's just, uh, we'll do it for you tonight. Like, you can't tell me that makes any sense to anyone. So, I'm starting to think, like, maybe this is just how all jobs are because it's almost to the point where it's like I don't even know it's like unbelievable like like I, I always say this but like you see in movies and shit TV shows you see like the the big guys who are always just like so maniacal and so insensitive and uncaring and stuff but like that shit's real you know um I wanna say this I have three three tasks every night and uh, tonight, we were well beyond capable of finishing all three of those. We had an hour left to finish the last one, and it was very possible to be done. So, what do we get? Oh, your first task shouldn't have taken that long. Okay. Oh, and by the way, the other guy who didn't come in tonight, yeah, he's probably going to get fired. I hope he knows that. Okay, why are you telling me this? It's like, it's crazy. It's like he's trying to be such a fiend, like... It's almost laughable, like, how fake it is. Because here we have this guy saying that this this other guy who's... He's, he's maybe missed maybe five to ten shifts ever. Versus our other guy who's in the same position as him. 
who's missed probably between 20 and 30 days. This is a guy that he hand personally said to me, like, came to me and said, I'll fix this. And he never fixed anything. So, for him to say that this other guy who's, you know, he, he's committed a couple offenses, but he, not to the degree that this other guy has, it's like, you're not going to scare me. You're not going to scare him, so don't even pretend to do that. Like, I get you're a manager. Oh, spoiler, he's a manager. Um, but still, you can't intimidate me because I already know that's a fucking, what is it, a, a clause or whatever, applause. It's a fake, it's a facade, you know. But, it's just stupid. I'm 23 years old. I'm a manager. I mean, I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty good at what I do. But, no matter what, unless, the only way for this thing to all come together is if we literally didn't, didn't talk to each other at all. Our coworkers did not have any communication with each other at all. We extremely focused on our task at the hand. Which is something that our associates we work with do not do. Um, I don't like to do this, but let's just say my group is over here. Their group's over here. Okay. Their group is all together. Hanging out. For my group up here to work, we'd have to separate. You know, maybe occasionally talk to each other as we pass each other. But for the most part, that's not happening. And for... I mean, not just for, you know, our associate rights. We shouldn't have to do that. You know, we should be allowed to hang out with each other. We should be allowed to work. We should be allowed to take a couple minutes here and there to go get drinks, go to the bathroom, stuff like that. We shouldn't have to shut down our, like, human rights just to go and become a work machine. So, that's the only way I could ever see this image disguised for the store working. And it's not going to happen anytime soon. Don't know why they expect it to happen anytime soon, let alone in the past year that he's been here. But those are the expectations he has. And I'm in a, a weird position because I was there when we had our best team of people. And he wasn't. So he doesn't understand what I'm talking about when I say, well, how come this guy who's very skilled couldn't have it done? He'll be like, well, back in my day, we did this, did that. It's like, well, this isn't your day. And the thing is, I don't have enough time or I see him enough to even really communicate with him very often. So I pretty much communicate through him by messages. Um, I leave a message in the morning for the people and they get the message. And uh, they usually never leave me messages. What they'll do is they'll have the closing person who I have to like talk to before they leave. And I start, um, they'll be like, yeah, so the guy sent me a text message earlier. Uh, I wrote it down here on this piece of paper for you. Here you go. That's the extent of his communications with me. But, I don't know. I guess at the same time, I'm the kind of person who doesn't want to, like... I have so many things in my head I want to say to the guy, but at the same time, I'm not, I'm not confrontational. So it's like, even though he, you know, says something stupid like, um, here's your tasks, get them done, even though they've been the same tasks for the past... 15 years of this store being open let me remind you what they are it's like at the same time it's like well like part of me was just kind of like oh okay thank you man I didn't know he had to do that like he's turned me into like a like a like a what is it a a cynic I guess you know he's turning me very sarcastic he very jaded I feel like um like I've got to say stupid shit back to him because he does it but I don't for some reason. There's this part of me though that's still, I think it pisses him off, but I can't turn it off either. Where I'm just completely positive to him. Like, he'll be like, he'll be like, no, you guys aren't getting it together. I don't know what's going on. And then I'll be just be like, oh yeah. Yeah, I guess that, that does kind of suck. You know, like, I'm not, I don't, like, I guess debate him when he's expecting, like, to make, get a rise out of me. I don't really, um, counter that with anything aggressive just more like a a positive understanding of the situation like when he said oh I hope this guy's gonna get fired I said um I guess I, I hope he understands that he has that risk of happening but I mean I don't really know what he's thinking right now 
But in reality, it's kind of in my brain, though. In my brain, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, well, if person A has not been here over 20 times and you personally said you were going to get rid of him, I'm pretty sure this wouldn't happen. Well, you know. There's like this sarcastic side of my brain that's like always on, but it doesn't activate. It just like, it's in standby. It's like the Xbox One. It like updates and it um, does stuff, but it doesn't act until I make it act. So, my throat fucking kills me, didn't I? I don't know what's going on. I hope it's not like strep throat or something, but this shit sucks. Why am I hearing kids out right now? It's like 7 a.m. Alright, so, hey, happy Frazlog, it's been a while. Uh, level 3 sex offender list of 52 names released for Springfield in western Massachusetts. Alright, sounds like a good article, goodbye.